Hey everybody, welcome to the Haunted PS1 demo disc. I'm actually really excited to play this. I've been following it on Twitter for a long time. Uh, it's a collection of like 17-ish, I think, uh, indie horror games. Each one is pretty short, so this is probably gonna be like a like a three or four part series as we go through all of them. Uh, yeah, the first one's called A Place Forbidden. Oh hey, the, uh, the cursor is the Neversoft eye, or at least it looks like that. That's cute. See description. The library of the Uroboros and its vast store of occult knowledge is finally within your reach. In the end, it was almost too easy to find. Yeah. Cool. So this is called A Place Forbidden. I have to do stuff in OBS uh, each time I load the game because uh, it opens up in a totally different game. So let's do it. The library of Uroboros. I'm finally here. It's almost anticlimactic to stand so easily within its walls after all those years of searching. If the rumors are true, the library contains knowledge beyond anything one might hope to find on Earth. Words of power, occult learning, enough to transcend death. It will be mine, all of it. I just need to know where to look. Okay, let's leave. Why would I leave? I only just arrived. Can I read these? Locked. Damn. Check behind the desk really quick. Awesome. I love the way this looks. Yeah, so this is 17 uh, little indie horror games. Books on philosophy, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So it's probably going to be like a three or four part series, depending on how long each one is. Oh, droll. Okay. Okay. A transcript. I've been having these nightmares, Doctor. I'm alone, but I don't feel alone. Not like I should. Rather, there's no one with me, but that's not to say there's nothing around. It's difficult to explain, but it is an uncomfortable feeling. Something drones lull, or something drones low in the background all the while. Kind of like us. That's what we're hearing. I can hear snatches of whis- <laughs> I hate that word. I can hear snatches of whispers, but only just barely. Like something is conversing with me just out of my range of hearing. Just as something is watching just out of my sight range. Everything's too still. It's wrong. Of course I get burpy. As soon as I start reading. I don't remember how I got here. Or got there. I can't uh, figure out how to leave. Everything is all hallways upon hallways. Shelves of books that look like they've been... Or they've never been opened. Almost all of them are still. And yet I get a feeling... Like, I mustn't open any of them, whatever I do. There's a pull to them, of course. Uh, the sense that I will learn more than I could ever hope to on Earth. But there's a danger. A vague, creeping danger. The feeling that something is uh, very, very interested in every move I make. Every breath you take. Who or what it might be, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it wants to bring me in or if it wants, to, if it wants me to leave. How does it end? Well... As I mentioned, there's no real way to escape. Every place I go leads to more rooms. But eventually, after a time, I, I don't really hear them so much as feel them. Look no further, look no further, look no further. And then I wake, and every time I feel farther from this world. To be honest, Doctor, I hope it's all in my imagination. I hope I'm afflicted with some kind of mania. Because a place like that can't exist, shouldn't exist. And if it does, then I can only hope that no one else would be so unfortunate as to visit it. Well. Biographies. I've heard of none of these people. Uh, almanacs. Useless. Oh boy. This actually just looks like a story. So if you guys want to read it, go ahead. I'll give you guys a pause to read it. I'm going to skim over it, make sure I'm not missing like any puzzle information. Good old Bernice. Okay. Partial history of the library. Like, this actually sounds important. The library of the Ur Uroboros. <laughs> Uroboros! If, you, if anybody's wondering why I keep saying it like that, it's because of Resident Evil 5, Shava. Uroboros? What's all this nonsense about evolution? <laughs> <laughs> I love Sheva. 
She should come back in the games. Uh, <clears throat> the library of Ouroboros wasn't so much built as it simply came to be. That much we've been able to glean from early murky tales about an endless structure rich in occult knowledge. First tale was penned by an unnamed Gaelic mystic who compiled a variety of accounts from travelers complaining of strange dreams. Many of these travelers' accounts of the place were the same. Endless hallways of strange materials, magic devices that seemed to give off light or sound without any visible source, but rarely were there uh, many tangible details aside from these characteristics and the font of knowledge ringing the walls of the place. This of course changed in approximately 60, wait, 670. Oh, like the year, okay. When the mystic was visited by a lone woman. She was reportedly wild-eyed, half mad, and complaining of dreams uh, much the same as her fellows. But she claimed that these dreams became reality briefly, and that she at one point even visited that bleak place. She claimed to run into a dark amorphous figure with a score of red glow of glowing red eyes. This figure apparently spoke to her, promising her black knowledge should she only pledge herself to it. Though the mystic asked how this woman escaped such a place, the woman gave him no explanation. In fact, she spoke no further, withdrawing from the mystic's hut to begin her traveling anew. She was never seen or heard from again. The testimony is hardly concrete. Uh, is hardly a concrete example of the library's existence, but it certainly makes one makes one wonder if tales like this could exist from the earliest days of modern man. What other truths could lie buried in? the past, should one be willing to tunnel through cobwebs of years uh, to reach the ancient tales hidden beneath. Huh. On the Founder. They came to the domain a blank canvas in the cosmos from the places unknown and as old as time. They uh, have existed longer than man, longer than the sentient stones of Ur, longer than the cosmic force that runs through all things. They have always been. They saw the ruin that coursed through the universe, the constant in and out flux of entropy. And with entropy went items of worth, and it uh, was the worth that they sought to salvage. Not things, ideas, thoughts, power and tangible. Through the years they reached for their powers were immense. Through eons they snatched, <laughs> they snatched up secrets, uh, dark and light, but it, was, it wasn't long before it became all too much, even for those ancient. Everything else has been torn off. Uh, he to go further could have been deciphered uh, from the last word in each of these books I tore them out I couldn't let anyone else go any deeper I'm sorry but trust me it's way better this way to close the book you can make out a single word scratch blah 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 telephone okay so hold on desk Beneath telephone. And what were what was your last word? It. Okay, so it basically told me where the thing is. Hi. Welcome message from all our staff. Welcome. We're glad you're here. As we're sure you're aware, the library of Ouroboros is located in a picturesque part of Britain, atop a grassy knoll east of uh, grass, grassy knoll east of Sussex. Many rural townships, obviously bereft of their own libraries, refer their villagers to the library. It is beloved by all. We hope you will take your time pursuing the vast stores of literature, nonfiction, fiction, occult knowledge, cur curse knowledge, words to melt the eyes of anyone who reads them, psalms of murder, and otherwise. <laughs> You'll certainly have enough time. Uh, time enough, Bernard. We'll certainly have time enough. Am I Bernard? Who is phone? Okay. Door mobile. <laughs> that book mentioned my name. A, co a coincidence. Nothing more. Besides, it was mistaken. The library wasn't in England. I found it in the German city of Olberg, sequestered away behind an ancient church. Such a small, unassuming front as if by looking so plain, it might hide uh, from the rest of the world. So I can't read these books. Hello? 
I can't read any of these. I'm going to check them just in case. Okay, I need to find some kind of code. You're an avid reader, aren't you, Bernard? You can't read these books, but don't fret. They'll pave your road to a new knowledge. If you're stuck, think of yourself like a cataloger or a librarian. <laughs> that has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? The case toward the window seems as good uh, seems as good a place as any to start. Okay. A frigid scene. There was no fog outside earlier. Okay. Can I read? Oh, it said I couldn't read these books. Okay. So am I counting how many there are in each row? One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So four, six, five. Three? Four, six, five, three? Oh, cool. Uh, finally. Here's hoping that's the last of the locks. I doubt it's going to go to this door. I don't want to check it, just in case. Okay. And... I don't think I can get back behind this desk, either. I guess let's check back here. Oh, boy. Bro, I live with regret. Picked up screwdriver. Okay. I've never felt threatened by a chair before. Reminds me of, uh... The trailer for the Invisible Man movie. He's sitting in that chair. Oh boy. Let's go and check all these. I can't even see in the top one, so never mind. Yeah. Hey, I found the adult section! Whoa! Okay. How out? How is this possible? Oh, this is the layout of the library. You're looking down on it, but there's no roof. Here's where we started. Yeah. And that middle room has, like, nothing in it, looks like. Can I click on any of these pages or anything? <laughs> I like how it's changing covers. Picked up. You'll regret it. You'll regret it. You'll regret it. Something is wrong. Your tummy's rumbly. I need to leave now. Uh, oop. Gotta turn around. Something is scratching its way into my head. Oh, my vision's getting all... Blah, 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 blah. Trying to see who's talking to me. Tiny fissure here, a little force there. No more, Bernard. We could make you the shambling husk, make you walk these halls forever. But we see your curiosity. Never your open again. Potential. We have something more in mind for you. We think you like it. Thank you for visiting our library. Oh, and hey, there's the the dude with all the red eyes. Yeah. Hey, buddy. That was like that was awesome. I like that. Yeah, a lot of reading, but I guess it takes place in a library. So, <laughs> what should I expect? Cool. Uh, let's go on to the next one.
All right, this one's called Dead Heat. I'm gonna be going in alphabetical order for all of them. Description. Damned. Dames? <laughs> Dames, lies, murder, mystery, and zombies in the twilight years of the 21st century. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. This one took a second to load. Uh, not sure why. Each one opens up as a different game, and they some of them even use different engines, I think. Uh, so yeah. Anyways. Um, I have to pick a case leader? I don't think I can pick Lilith. I guess I'll do Sonia. And like... Detective level 3. Sonia is a talented liar. <laughs> and a highly persuasive woman. With a uh, keen sight into the hearts of men. Her deductive skills are formidable, though physically impose unimposing. Manipulating and threatening. Uh, people isn't just a, isn't a job, it's a lifestyle. Sneaking into the minds of men and pressuring their most vulnerable side for your own ends is a challenge for you. Blah, 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 blah. Dirty cop? You might get a little... I'll, I'll be a dirty cop, whatever. Yeah. Can I... There we go. I just want to play. About 20 minutes ago, I got another call uh, from our kind boss, Saul. I barely had time to cover myself up uh, before I was being... Hold on, pause. I have a phone call. Yeah, barely had time to cover myself up before I was being stared at by a sweaty, bloated face on a... Okay. All they gave us to go on was a description of a corpse, uh, now more asphalt than man, laying comfortably somewhere in Hell's Kitchen. So here we are again, another cold alleyway in uh, the dead of autumn, another corpse, and another reason to get out of this line of work. So it looks like I am playing Lilith Troy instead of the other person. There's one thing I know in this life, it's never to wake Lilith up from anything unless it's important uh, or involves sex or food. <laughs> Sounds like me. Oh, I, I can actually play. I'm down there. Yeah. This is way different from the first one that we played. Can I get a little pep in my step, please? There's a dead dude right there. Body. Uh, is there a mouse I need to do? Uh, okay. Do I need to... Oh, God, tank controls. Um. F, T, Q, bloop, 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 bloop. How do I... How do I even interact with you? Here, do I need to use controller? I do. Okay. Uh, beat up 2010s era apartments. Like these were normally built from old textile. Okay. Now, any that still have any, uh, still have running water and function. Okay. The the text go by goes by so fast. Habitable abodes. <sighs> okay. So there's Sprint. Yeah. I have to hold... Yeah, so this game is built around a controller. Got it. Okay, so I can't... Inspect body. Can I... Talk to... Uh, made a new friend, Bishop? Didn't expect to see you back so soon. I suppose we're valuable to throw away for uh, clout. What? It wasn't for clout. Those men needed to go. Tell us about the zombie. 32 years old, human. Uh, wait, 32 old in human years. Rough. God damn it. Damage? Scan show the fall shattered most of his rib cage. Glass has dug itself deep into the organs and punctured his lungs in several different places. I'd wager the glass is weakened. Uh, was weakened before he was thrown through. See, so I still poking around up, around up there. They just left. Photographed everything up there but couldn't stick around to give uh, you the normal walkthrough. 
Something called them downtown. Said they will have to have a report on your desk, hopefully by the end of the night. We'll head up there then. You okay uh, with Mr. Bryant? I've got so much. I've got as much as I can to get from the scans. I'll take him downtown and get him on a slab. Uh, come see me when you're... Okay. Bye. Okay. Oh boy. I like the way that window looks. It looks really good. Table. Huh, what's that? Looks like one of those old matchbooks from Lilith's time. Keepsake from his old life, maybe? Night of the Cannibals. Uh, something something. Explosion Fighter 5. Okay. Looks like they were packing up the stiff. Looks like they're packing up the stiff. Newspaper? Bunny loops. Uh, and like, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to move this. Because like, even the controller doesn't move this part either. Oh, it's, oh my god. It's with uh, the arrow keys on the keyboard. Okay. Oh boy. I may pass on this one pretty soon. <laughs> View outside. Still packing. Okay, pack up the stiff. Desk. I have to like tap the buttons to like get it to go slowly. Otherwise, it's like. Nyeow! Like, can I hit? Power isn't working. Okay. Uh, a safe? Well, that's interesting. Is it? It's a mirror. All right. I think I'm going to pass on this one. <laughs> like, this is just, it's just too clunky. Like, I've had too many problems with this so far. So I'm going to move on to the next one. All right, this next one's called Dread Illusion. Or Dread Delusion. In the Clockwork God's Realm, where state-approved magic is regulated by machines, a dark corruption is taking hold. A small-scale open-world RPG. Huh. Cool. Let's check it out. Hey, this is Dread Delusion. It is a timed demo. So let's just jump in. That looks awesome. Yeah, this is this is more of like what I was kind of hoping for. This looks fucking cool. Stand for the av uh, avatar of Clockwork God. It makes abysmal sounds as it connects to the network of machines and magics uh, spread through the, throughout the city. You shift uneasily while you wait. You have no idea why you're here. Being called before an avatar in person is rarely a good thing. The mechanical, mechanical anatomy shudders and grinds for some time, sputtering oil and steam. Abruptly, it stops. <laughs> Just as you wonder if it's broken, a feather stylus pops up, pops out, and writes in large angular letters. You are subject number confirmed deny. Confirm. Subject number your uh, your data requires amending. State your vocation. Petty enforcer, you root out corruption or corrupted citizens in the city, often by force, requires physical brawn. Scribe, you have a literacy permit to fabricate realm-wide propaganda, requires mental wit. Let's go with Petty Enforcer. Explain how you patrol the streets each day, scouring for uh, scouring information, banging on doors, and rooting out those tainted with the corruption. It's not an easy job. Nobody wants to give up their loved ones. Not when they know what the Divine Order will do with them. You have done terrible things to keep the sacred city safe. The uh, machine writes, data amended. You've gained uh, a delusion of might. Oh yeah, my might meter did go up. You've been selected for the sacramental duty. Your heart lurches as you read uh, the quickly drying ink. You don't know what the sacra sacramental duty is, only that those who are chosen never return. 
sacramental duty is as follows. Find the source of the realm's uh, pestilence, which purifies the soul and makes rotten the harvest. Oh, putrefies the soul. In, uh, to forever bring an end to this corruption, failure will result in death by, inc uh, by incineration. Chances of success are calculating none. May the blessing of the clockwork god be with you. Please exit via the portal. Great. You look awesome! Ooh. This is fucking awesome. This is, this is dope. <laughs> I'm, I'm all about this. I, like, I love the pink hue to everything. Ah, I, goodness gracious. I, I'm just such a sucker for pixelated horror stuff. And I don't know why. It just is my aesthetic. Hi. What do we have here? Another outcast from the city of shit and steel, no doubt? Tell me, has your god cast you away to die? Yeah. At least you recognize the absurdity of that damn place. Since your people came and built that abomination, this land has been slowly rotting. So I'll be keeping an eye on you, outcast. Later, Hosen. Okay, so I can jump. I can sprint. Into my inventory. I like this a lot. Like, I only know what to say. It's just like, this actually does seem like an old school, like, Elder Scrolls game. Hello. The town of Hollow. My people were never allowed past its walls. We natives had been here since the world forging. But even as we starved, this town kept us out. And in the end, when its people ri uh, writhed in strange agonies, they locked it up. And discarded the key in that tower up there. That one? Door requires a key. Oh, you're talking about this one. Okay. Boop. Take you. Uh, the town quarantine key. Sweet. Requires, uh, two mine to read. Okay. Tower sustains significant damage. Would you like to engage automatic repairs? Sure. Upgrades are disabled in the demo. Oh, fuck. Saving is disabled in this demo. Okay. So I wonder if I could have learned a magic spell had I picked... Uh, being a propaganda maker instead. Boop! Bye. Kind of hollow? Okay. I don't know if she's going to say anything special now that I open the door for her. I'm behind the stairs. Is that a spooky, scary skeleton? Home spell. Returns the caster to hollow, but the cost of an affliction. Uh, with nothing equipped, select control, then right mouse button. Okay. Subject number, blah, blah, blah. Your presence here was predicted. Do you seek help with the sacramental duty? Sure. Leave this town. Seek the cipher scribe in this tower, or in his tower, uh, past the river. He will direct you further. Okay. Can I have a weapon? Or some shit? Hi. I like the pink Skella boys. Yeah, like they're stocking me up with magic, but like... Hi. Uh, you pilfered one coin. Fuck yeah, I love pilfering. <laughs> Pilfer, that's a fun word. Uh, this door requires a key. Okay. Yeah, fuck your ramps. 
Parkour hardcore. So I guess I don't want to fuck with him yet since I don't have... Hi. A weapon. Is he even trying to... Will he even try to hurt me? Kind of seems like a... Raider's key. Kind of seems just like a... Big gay skeleton. He's just chilling. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, uh, this door requires a key as well. Okay. Let's try the door that was over. Hi. It was over here. Yeah, key discarded. Boop. Uh, health potion. Sweet. Oh my god. I'm illiterate, so I can't read this. Is there anything that I can do as a big dumb brute? Like, what? What can I do? God, I should learn how to read. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> I am so into this. <laughs> I need to watch my stamina. Then actually we fill that fast. Where are you? Uh potion of stamina, sweet. Yeah, it requires a key, figures. I can hear my dog, Brody, having a, one of his dreams. This lock can be broken, okay? My dog, Brody, doesn't bark, like, ever. Uh, unless he's asleep, and it's always with his mouth closed. So it comes out like, like that, and he, like, twitches a lot. It's fucking crazy. Like, he will, like, He'll do it so hard that, like, he'll, like, knock himself out of his bed. <laughs> Crazy kid. Hi! No? Okay. I'm tempted just to walk up to a skeleton and be like, Yo, what up? Stamina. Check out this shitty little house. Milford one coin. I'm illiterate! Fuck! Skeleton with no jawbone. Hey. Okay. I wonder if I miss, like... Here, come here. What's your deal? Oh, okay. So I don't need to worry about the gay skeletons. They're fine. They just live in their life. How do, can I... No. Two. Alt. Alt. How do I use the fucking potions? Inventory. Tab. Oh, R to use. Okay. Cool. Uh, here, let's cut to me finding something. As you clasp the door handle, your head throbs. Your vision blurs, and a bitter taste rises in the back of your throat. Tells tale steins of an illusion taking hold. You're still the, you're still atop a hill, with the sacred city in the distance. But you know the uh, neuron star burns golden in a blue sky. Supposed to be neutron. Whatever. Uh, above a glittering multitude of machine towers, skyships ferry uh, grain and goods overhead, propelled by faultless cipher magic. You recognize this as Realm Commission propaganda. A utopic vision to draw co uh, colonists here from the old kingdoms. Uh, Machine Knight towers over you, the voice emanating from its sealed helmet and uh, shrouded, it's shrouded in static. State your business. You're not from the Divine Order, are you? Lie, claim that you are, in fact, from the Divine Order. 
Um, yeah, might. Boom. Ow. Fuck. You mumble something about uh, being part of the Order's lesser known crossword solving division. Uh oh. Well, comes a crackled reply. If you are from the Order, uh, this must be some sort of test. I'm not going to let you up here without the proper insignia, of course. You failed the challenge. You suffered mental infliction. Yeah, I'm here for the duty. You know, the first to have come here with that burden. Not the last, I suspect. Its head tilts, tilts up towards the fake blue sky. I could help you, but I want something first. Ports to ports armored fingers at the tower in the distance. That tower, with the bridge over there, over the river, is a divine order prison. My assistant, a uh, scribe, was taken there. A pause. She is surely dead. Uh, but the filtrate extractor she carried, I need it urgently. Okay. Your body tingles as the illusion fades. The blue drains from the sky. The tower crumbles to dust, and the machine knight is gone. Oh, shit. So I guess I'm not ever a good liar, because I'm a big dumbass. This demo seems, like, super set up for you to pick magic. It's like, I haven't, I haven't gotten shit for being a punchy boy. There's not anything for me to punch yet. <laughs> Maybe I should replay and uh, pick the the magic thing. Dread Delusion. Oh, okay. Damn it. Yeah, I do. I think I am going to replay this really quick. Okay. Scribe. Uh, bloop. You explain how you toil in the towers of happiness each day, uh, writing glorious visions of the sacred city in rhyming verse. The best work is sent to the higher ranking cipher, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Delusion. Okay. Got a delusion of mind. Okay. Ooh. So now that I know how to read, let's go see what that shit has to say. It's probably just gonna be some like lore stuff. But like, I still wanna check it out. Mostly because I think this is really cool. Like, I'll definitely play the shit out of this when then the full thing is released. Divine order log, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the town of Hollow is lost. Yesterday, the screams rising from the streets terrified me. But now, this silence is so much worse. Could we have prevented this? If we'd punished more insubordination? Re uh, rewritten more lives with Cypher? Yes, surely. The clockwork god, in his divine grace, will judge our methods defective. I locked the quarantine door and sealed the last of them in. What more could I do? Okay. Uh... I'm at repairs. Yeah, so I can't do that in the demo. So let's go on to that next book that I found. Victor! The Divine Order has been tipped off about my work. Some drunk fool recited my poem in the tavern. The one uh, which jests about the clockwork god is broken. And an Order spy cut out his tongue. Right there. Sorry, I got burpy again. I heard he's been, uh, been taken to the tower. Well, they'll rewrite his mind with cipher magic. I've gathered my drafts. I'm going to burn them in an alley. Destroy everything I've ever given you. Destroy this too. Okay. Uh, I guess let's keep looking. Eleventh day of the month of the harvest, the divine order came again today, demanding a yet steeper tithe. We can't afford this. Bribing that official for a literacy permit took the last of our coin. Misha, if you need money, think of Uncle Sagan, uh, who we buried by the waterfall. I need money. Okay. So, like... Oh, I probably need to go... around this way. Yeah, I... Like, since I couldn't read that book before, I had no idea this was going to be over here. I really like this. Like, I am super duper into this. Uh, Unearth Jawbone. Sweet. So I can take that back, put the Jawbone on. Yeah. So is there anything I could have done as the strong boy? Is like I didn't see shit. Hi. 
Uh, there we go. We're going to use that potion up. Why not? Uh, awesome. You embraced a new delusion. Got three mind. So I'm really good at reading. Crouch? No? Okay. Uh, cool. Let's keep going. And I'll cut to the next cool thing that I find. Hey, buddy. A friendly face. Thank the clockwork god. I was thrown from my airship. One of those things got on board. I was ordered, by its grace no less, to clear out the brigands and thieves currently squatting in the hollow town tavern. Uh, passphrase to the tavern. Apparently, uh, brigands and thieves. Okay. Uh, here. Our spy found, uh, spy found a way in. Kill them. Okay. I failed. My data will be erased from the esteemed archives. In the end, it was just as its grace predicted. Shit, dog. Sucks for you. So I got a phrase to get me into a tavern. So I wonder if I need to go back to that town that's behind me. Yeah, let's go talk to this guy. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, so I need to hire Might for some reason to try to lie to him. Now I'm curious, had I done that little side quest Uh, let's go and do this. The spell caused an affliction, really. Okay, tavern, tavern, tavern. Hi. What's up, cutie patootie? Yo! <laughs> I got special words for you. Anybody? Oh, hey. I also got some money. I have six coins. Oh, I guess I can only get three, three of the, the things before it'd kill me. At least I think it'll kill me. Here, let's uh, let's try this. Yeah, dope. Well, well, a new face. Must admit, it's mighty suspicious seeing someone fresh from the city down here. So tell me, peep. You a spy for that holy hunk of gears? Uh, no. Well, I can know for sure. Uh, you know, I heard all machine lovers bleed oil. Shall we slice you open and take a peek? Ha <laughs> ha, it's a joke. What's with the dour face? We're cool. So by all means, pursue our wares. Or, yeah, per peruse our wares. I can personally guarantee... Okay. Um... Take this money, thank you. Footwear, increase your movement speed, cost six coins. Spell that renders the user invisible. Eh, eh, I'll gladly take this. Sturdy shoes, fuck yes. Hi, sorry about Andre over there. We're not all assholes. It's easy to fall out of favor with the realm. Uh, say the wrong thing in the wrong place, and you're a political dis uh, dis dissenter. And then if you don't get your head uh, recalibrated, it's the life of an outcast. Some try to get to... <laughs> How do you say that? Pwill? Pwile? They don't uh, like us much there either. So, here we are. A right sorry lot. Us outlaws have to stick together. So, if there's anything you want to ask, go ahead. Spells. Spells are written in cipher, and the whole uh, command will execute when you read out the first few words. Each spell can only be as fa uh, be cast a few times before it becomes temporarily impotent. Uh, some spells can... Okay, cool. Crimson skeletons, see floating around? They're the corrupt. You mean, uh, if you mean them no harm, they'll just ignore you. But if you kill a bunch of them, they'll start to turn hostile. Okay. If you're attacked by something, you'll lose health, but afflictions are something different. Afflictions can be mental or physical, and are longer lasting. They'll weaken your resolve, and make you slightly worse everything you do. Okay. 
Sweet. Uh. Okay. So I think this is about where the demo will end. It's like, hi. I want to I want to fight you. I want to kill you. Oh my god, I'm so fast with these boots. I love it. Oh, hey, there's a health thing over there. I don't need it cuz Literally nothing hurts me. Yeah, let's go see if over here, if walking up that ramp will uh, trigger the end again. I really like this. I think this is one of the most promising, like, indie horror games I've seen in a bit. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm really into this. See, where was it that it kicked me out? Like right about here? Yeah, I think I tried to go up this way. Huh. It's actually letting me go further. Uh, filtrate extractor. Contraption looks quite complex. You haven't the slightest clue what it might do. Cypher scribe in the... Okay. Uh... Junior cypher scribe? Misconduct. In possession of literature, no permit. Displaying your action. Splitting of the knees. Crushing of the head. With a sword and strength, this would break. Oh, okay. Hello. I must admit, for someone so hopeless, you're tenacious. Let me warn you. The strangeness that, uh, that plagues the land is corruption. It is not what you think. Attacking it with brute force is idiotic. If you really want to help, there are other ways. Come find me. We can speak. Otherwise, you're on your own. And then, you're truly fucked. Wow. So let's see. Didn't he want the filtration extractor thingy? This place? I don't think I even bothered looking last time. Okay. Hi. That's it. Come up the stairs. We'll speak in person. The illusion vanishes with a shiver, leaving a crimson sky. You pass into the tower, blah, blah, blah. Entering the top chamber is like stepping onto a turbulent ship. The whole room full of strange apparatuses. Apparatus? Periodically turns on the spot, shaking everything with a ferocious rattle. Automated telescopes peer through the gate through a gaping window, watching the shifting horizon. A scribe is hunched over an array of uh, ink bottles, which spill their glowing liquid whenever the room lurches. The figure uh, turns to face you, weary eyes buried in a gaunt face. Don't touch anything, he mutters. It's the voice of the machine knight. So much feebler now. No! Ah, <sighs> it's a timed thing, so I guess that was it. Dang it. This is fucking dope. I'm so into this. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to end this video here. I'll do a uh, four in the next one. Yeah. How's that sound? If you want to check out the uh, big collection yourself. Description down there. Yeah. This is amazing. I think this is such a good idea. Here, let me switch this back now. Boop. Oh, I hit escape. Now it's, now it's closed. <laughs> cool. Well, leave a like, and I will see you guys next time.